random basis. So then we shall uh, I shall show you the OEL task that you have to do. So OEL will give you two weeks. So you discuss among your group of how to complete the the task within two weeks and submit in group group uh, form. Okay. By the time we shall go through the syllabus that we have. <coughs> so example dua saya dah upload dekat YouTube tadi ni. So we have the system of AC source to deliver to the resistive, pure resistive load throughout our uncontrolled device which is diode. So in general when the diode is used so only half wave of the signal will be passed through. We have full wave we measure output on the half wave of it and will be passed through. So this is so-called half wave rectifier. Instead of full wave, positive and negative input be in here. So we shall have only V out of half of the wave, positive only. Negative, it will be rectified. So this is the one complete cycle of 2 pi. Okay, half wave rectifier using diode. Later, if we able to use a semi-control device, which is thyristor, thyristor which has, we have a gate here, we can control, we can put a pulse, means that we can control for half, uh, for a semi-control device such as thyristor, so we can control only in terms of their input, sorry, in terms of their on switch, on state. Off state, we cannot control. Okay, semi control device, we can control only on state. Off state, it depends on the direction of current. The direction of current flows forward, you switch on, it will conduct. When the current flows backward, let's say this is forward, you switch on, it will conduct. Let's say if the it faces the negative side. You switch off. Sorry, if you switch off, it will not stop. It will only stop when it reach negative or reverse cycle. Reverse cycle, it will stop. Okay, this is the behavior of semi-control. Non-controllable on during positive, during negative will off. For semi-control, it will on during positive when you trigger. A negative cycle, it will off. Okay. Means that later, instead of only half cycle of output like this, we shall able to control maybe quarter cycle. And we have only quarter cycle of the signal. Or maybe a percent of a cycles. Means that daripada separuh mungkin turun jadi 25% ataupun lebih uh, kurang lagi. Mungkin 10% sahaja when we use a semi-control device. Okay, that's the difference between uncontrolled and semi-controlled lah. Ada yang masih hari tu tanya apa beza diode dengan transistor kan. Ataupun dia tak faham lagi apa yang masukkan dengan uh, diode ni. So diode is uncontrolled power switch. Okay, satu concern you all yang lepas berkenaan e-learning tu uh, Saya terpaksa pakai uh, platform e-learning because Google Classroom already they uh, reduce the capability uh, Before we have unlimited storage but now they reduce to 10% uh, 10 gigabyte per person So I think that's why some of you when you want to access again Google Classroom punya materials you cannot Dah tak ada dah. Already been deleted. So that's why we have to merge into ataupun move into e-learning. So sorry ya. Memang kena pakai e-learning lah. Dulu Google dia bagi free. Sekarang Jimmy pun dah tak ada recording. Uh, recording ada bila kita pakai account Unimat. Then it's limited lah. <coughs> so that's why we have to move into <coughs> e-learning platform. Okay sambung yang tadi pula. <coughs> tadi kita discuss macam mana to sketch the waveform. Uh, average load current Apa kita tengok sini adalah peak Untuk average we have to calculate 
Okay. The absorb power by the load, power factor of the circuit. Okay, power factor tak, tak kira lagi tadi. So, power factor, kalau sangkut ke apa, tolong kita. Ha? Sebab saya buka screen ni, saya nampak sini. Yang tu voice out lah. Okay, untuk power factor. Power factor is what we want to measure in terms of how much the power being delivered to the output compared to power uh, supply by the source. Power source, power out. And, ataupun power in, power out. Ataupun power load. Depends lah. Sometimes you say it's a load power, source power. When we process the power, so how much delivered, how much is being set, being received. So power factor is uh, comparing between what is delivered, which is P load, compared to what is supplied, the source, P versus S. So if you refer to power diagram, we have here P as a P Q S. P Q S. This is the power factor. And how much you delivered, how much it being accept, and how much you supply, how much you accept. If our Q is low, so our S and P almost the same. Lah. And Q is low, the imaginary power is low, so P and S is almost the same. So power factor is uh, perfect, lah, almost one. And cos theta is power factor. Okay, now we want to evaluate in terms of our, when we use half bridge rectifier, Half, sorry, half wave rectifier, how much the power factor? In generic, the power factor of half bridge rectifier is 0 0.71. But we have to prove it. So how to prove it? We use the normal formula of PF equal to P over S. But P is equal to, P here, we measure here, is equal to IRMS times R. And IRMS which flows into the load times the resistive value of the load. Meanwhile, the delivered power, supplied power by the source is the voltage that we measure here, B across the load, the times the current that flows into the circuit, all in RMS, okay, in RMS. So when we compare these two values, So PF is equal to P over S and P over S. So you just insert all the from just now. I RMS quick R divided by B RMS time I RMS. So you cancel this RMS, so it remains as I RMS R divided by B RMS. But when we refer, we refer back because here we have already the values, the RMS given inside the question before. R is here, but I, we have to calculate again, or we can use the formula. And uh, some more for the formula point of view, you we shall give the odd formula, means that maybe the IRMS value, uh, per current values, uh, formulas. But the generic formula or knowledge of Ohm's law, KCL, KVL, you have to remember. Lah. And V equal to IR, so you have to remember this one. P equal to VI, P equal to VI, V squared over R. So this is the Ohm's law and the generic formulas that you have to stick in your mind. And this formula maybe we give you all and over to you all because this is odd number because you seldom use inside the uh, our throughout our career lah. unless we have to refer back to the books. That's why I encourage you all to buy the book. Okay. Means that anything you need to refer, you can open the book and confirm again. This formula, so this is Janik formula, you have to remember lah. Ohm's law. Okay, come again to the question. The IRMS given here for half wave rectifier is equal to 
if you have VRMS, you can just divide by R. Or if we have the peak value of uh, values, we have a V uh, incoming VM, V peak. So we divide by to R. So this is the RMS uh, values for half bridge, half bridge, half wave. Sorry, half wave. So VM over VRMS over R. So you can use, uh, you can cancel this uh, IRMS. So VRMS over R times R over VRMS. Wait, 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 sorry. Uh, IRMS is this one. VM over to R. Vm over 2r times r divided by vrms. So you cancel r, it remains as vm divided by 2vrms. So it returns as 0 0.71 as well. V maximum, v peak divided by 2vrms. So this is your power factor. So you have to prove it based on what uh, initial uh, calculated values that you have formed. Okay, that's all for uncontrolled R load of example two. Then if we go to example three, then example three, half wave R load. Everybody is okay? I'm okay, ka? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is an example of when we want to step further down. So we have to step down, step up, step up, run some more. Okay, sometimes we uh, we want to step further down or step up the output. We have here maybe input. Then we need a lower output or we need a higher output. So we have to use transformer. It just will invert. Uh, sorry, it will uh, <clears throat> transform from the standard uh, voltage into lower voltage or higher voltage with the same waveform. So this is AC AC lah, AC AC converter uh, transformer. Then after rectify, after amplify or reduce, we shall rectify. So maybe we will come just a half wave. Okay. okay, now the scenario is that we have a combination of simple diode and transformer like this. Diode is going to be ideal. Ideal means if, if it's on, so it's on. If it's off, so it's just open circuit. Either you have a, a short circuit or an open circuit. So that's a cons uh, what's so called an uh, assumption for an ideal diode either on with a short circuit or off with the off open circuit assumption eh? open circuit, yeah? uh, assumption we assume that it is open it is short at least okay we have here diode 20 ohm source of 240 volt rms So redraw the circuit and key in all the data. Required so the question is that the the required turn ratio find or determine the required turn ratio of the transformer. How much? N one, N two here to provide the load current of twelve ampere. Twelve ampere goes to the load. So how much N1 ratio to N2? Okay, first you have to do is that you redraw the circuit. Key in all the information. So 
240 volt RMS, uh, 20 ohms of the load. So, and then, uh, what is it? 50 hertz, 50 hertz, 50 hertz. Okay, first thing you have to do is that you have to re restate the expression of this voltage. So, instantaneous voltage Vt. Vt. So, V at any time of uh, expression here is equal to Vm sine omega t it's equal to we have been, been given this is rms huh? 240 volt 240 times set two 240 times set two so express in the Right, for this set to sine omega is equal to 2 pi f 2 pi 50 times t so you can put in terms of their calculated values directly berapa kalau 240 set 2 377 340. So 340 sin 100 pi t. So this is your instantaneous Vt. Means that kalau you measure Vt ni, input ni, katakan dekat sini. This is your t. So this is uh, this is your 2 pi. So dekat sini t dia. So this is the values that you get when you put the t here. Okay. So it measures the peak value at certain certain time. Okay, the question is that when we assume or we uh, want to have a 12 ampere average and 12 ampere RMS ke, average average huh? I out average of 12 ampere for I out equal to 12 ampere okay. I out is equal to V out divided by R but V out is equal to V max divided by pi and V out equal to V max divided by pi for half bridge V out Average output 0 0.318 volts. Sama lah. Hmm. Uh, one over. Yeah. V max over pi. Ada pun 0 0.3618. 0 0.3 Zero point three one eight V max. So what else? Uh -huh. Come on, Zaria. 
एवरेज का रन सो वी वी अपन So we are equal to I out times R. Yeah, the loss any. Jadi kita punya I ox equal to Vm over pi divided by R. So you dapat you punya Vm yang kita perlu kat sini. How much Vm here? Equal to I naught times R times pi. So, 12 darab 20 darab pi. You can dapat 7, 5, 4 volt. So, the output here, 7, 5, 4 volt. Then, untuk transformer, kalau untuk transformer, whatever that you put in for an ideal transformer, we assume that the transformer has no loss or minimum loss or negligible loss. Whatever you put in, put in that is the output. So P1 equal to P2, P in equal to P out, or V1, I1 is equal to V2, I2. Okay, this is a generic transformer of your formula. In terms of turn ratio, in terms of turn ratio, N1 over N2 is equal to V1 over V2. In terms of the yeah, turn ratio. So, if you rearrange this uh, formula, so V1 over V2 is equal to I2 over I1. So, N1 over N2 is equal to I2 over I1. Come on. So this is how you want to calculate your uh, turn ratio. Turn ratio. It means that your I one, I two is here already given twelve ampere. So I one is equal to I two times n two divided by in one. So I2 12 and 2 divided by in one. So the ratio will be how much? Zero point four five. 
zero point four five. Memang tu jangan lupa balik dalam dia punya uh, solution dekat atas tu. 0.45 ya. Yeah. And your I, I1 also is bigger compared to I2 because at our entrance we have low is our transformer so p1 and p2 so here we have low voltage so the current will be high 26 over here we have a high voltage so the current is lower which is at any uh, situation, the amount of P1 and P2 will be almost equal. Huh? And you step up the voltage, the current will be stepped down. Okay. So this is the average uh, current on the primary winding compared to the secondary winding of 12 ampere. <coughs> Okay, for this uh, kind of uh, converter, we can only set it to reduce to certain static values and because we are using uncontrolled diode. Uncontrolled diode. So we can just uh, bypass the positive cycle of the signal. Okay, that's all for your uncontrolled uh, device into resistive load. Later, we shall uh, go into the Thyristor, which is a semi-control. This is semi-control. So you can simulate inside your PC simulator. So please avoid the use of round not here. Because you are dealing with AC source. AC source, no need grounded to be grounded. So in terms of signal, you can use only simple square wave generator like this, you have, I think, I believe you have done inside your lab before, which is, it will generate based on what we set as our starting point, what of our ending point, and how much the frequency. And so the frequency of the generation here, if our source is 50 hertz, so it should follow the same frequency. Now. Or we can use the analog compost composition here, use comparator and use signal, uh, square wave signal, external square wave signal, comparator to generate how much alpha and delta, alpha and beta. Alpha means that our starting point of connection and beta is the ending point of connection. For this uh, step, we just assign in terms of degrees at which degrees from 0 to 360 degree so which point you want to set for this one we might have to set in terms of what is our alpha and beta lah. so you can use either one for your simulation okay for your voltage probe please uh, use this kind of voltage probe uh, because we are measuring between terminals so you probe between the terminals okay. if you want to probe between the your device as well so put the voltage probe here so we are measuring voltage throughout the device throughout the load and throughout our source <clears throat> okay as stated inside the node, the resistor used to control the output of the rectifier 
means that we can control instead of only uh, during on and off. Uh, sorry, between if we use we use the diode, we can control. We cannot control, but if you use transistor, we can set the starting point. Maybe after uh, a few degrees up to the maximum production angle. Lah. If you set further, so the output will be lesser. Maybe lesser. If you set further in front, it will be lesser. You set earlier, so the output will be higher. But the highest is B max divided by pi as the output of your uncontrolled semiconductor device of diode. Similar to diode, CSR we conduct during positive cycle. So positive cycle it will conduct, conduct delay until the gate signal is applied. So it only applied or it will start only you, when you have a signal. Let's say if you plot the signal, so if the signal like this, so it will conduct at this point only. If your signal is stuck here, instead of this part, so you shall have your curve to be like this. Start here. Is that conduction is delayed until the gate signal is applied. If you apply the signal, it will start to conduct. So the delay term is known as firing angle. So this is your firing angle. The starting point is your firing angle. So the firing angle is measured between between zero to the starting point of alpha. From here, from zero to starting point of alpha. That's your firing angle. You see here? This is your firing angle. Okay. We, if we apply the KCL to the load, to the circuit. So during positive cycle, so the thyristor is here actually. So when we analyze in terms of the positive cycle, so we assume the thyristor as a short circuit condition. A put on circuit, which is the line is shorted. So it passes through all the waveform into the load. So all the waveform pass into the load by right. If your alpha is triggered at zero. But if your alpha triggered as as at certain certain degrees after zero, so this is the starting point. See, during positive cycle, after applied alpha, only it will start to conduct. If you measure voltage, voltage this one measured at diode. At diode, this is measured voltage at output. This is your output voltage. This is your output current and peak values, no? instantaneous peak values. Okay, during positive cycle, you apply alpha, you will have connection of voltage and current. During negative cycle, negative cycle, negative cycle, so it cannot pass through because it behaves like diode, you will block your connection. So you can see that there is a zero reading. Zero reading of voltage, zero reading of current. This is reference. Actually, this is our reference. Okay. This is what you measure at here. Let's say you're providing gate to the device. So when you probe over here, so this is how the measurement takes place. Later, if you were being assigned in OEL, okay, please probe all the related related waveform to produce this waveform. So you have to probe at load, you have to probe at source, you have to probe at device, and only you can produce this kind of waveform. So in terms of arrangement, input, maybe you want to put signal here, or you want to put uh, load output here, also can. This is your signal. Okay. Simulation, you can simulate uh, longest possible, but for presentation, you just put two cycles or four cycles. So that you can uh, note in the presentation, if you 
flex atau terlalu banyak you cannot write on the presentation punya side. Okay, control half-wave rectifier load. The output voltage is given as V max divided by 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha. Depends on the alpha now. Before we don't have this alpha. But now we have the firing angle. So we have to include into calculation. So this how to derive this equation is not important in this subject. Because the division of equation you have learned inside your signal system subject. Now in our counter subject, we just want to utilize or apply what we have learned. So if required performance given, but the system you have to evaluate how the system performance you have to evaluate using this formula. In terms of RMS voltage output, so to conclude, RMS voltage output, so we only have positive side output, positive side voltage, positive side of uh, current with uh, alpha or trigger angle, firing angle effect. And we have the uh, factor of firing angle here to be considered. So that's why we have V peak, half of it, times set of alpha and sine alpha here. In terms of average power output, so the RMS output of the the at the load, measure the load divided by RMS voltage divided by R. So P is still, is still the same, V squared over R. We measure V RMS, so V RMS here is measured or is calculated, so we can have the average output power. Uh, average output power. Average output power. Okay. So we are a mess over R. Average output power. So example four. A control half wave rectifier. Assumed to be ideal. Supply voltage 120 volt. 60 hertz. So please bear in mind sometimes we put as US reference, sometimes we put as Malaysian reference. But here, sometimes we put in peak, sometimes we put in RMS, so we have to take note. We just transfer and beware on the uh, indicators of the unit. We have 100 ohm, 120 volt, 60 hertz. Firing angle, alpha of Firing angle, okay. Firing angle we need to find such that V out is equal to 4 volt. So, how much is the firing angle? So, again, you have to draw the circuit, key in all the information here, and then rewrite. The first thing you have to rewrite is your instantaneous V. Here. So again, pi uh, omega is equal to two pi f, two pi f. So you put here two pi f, hundred twenty times set two to get your peak value. This peak value you should put inside your uh, simulation if you need it. You don't put your RMS value huh? because it requires in PC. Maybe other simulation tools, they have, they require any uh, other kind of units. But for PC, we need or we should key in the peak value. Then express the firing angle function of output voltage. And we are here, which is to be given to find out what is your alpha. We are Equal to you have here V max we have V out is 40. So alpha equal to 61.25 or 1.07 radian. Absorb power V square over R V is RMS. So we shall have 
This is the apron power S, V R M S, I R M S. V R M S seventy five point six. Just now. R M S voltage. Uh, you give a try. I shall uh, record again this slide. Okay. okay this PC information. This I uh, perform in group later. And I shall recap in our uh, pre-record lecture I give you later. Because today I don't think that we can finish. Okay, later I'll show you the slide of this RL of the alpha control uh, SCR. In the meantime, I shall explain a little bit on the OEM. OEL that you should perform for this week given two weeks of time you ought to complete it. Okay, OEL satu, AC DC commuter, each of subject you shall have open ended lab, means that we shall learn rectifier, uh, converter, inverter and protection. So you have four awaiting OEL. Okay, for this task, please perform in group. It's stated over here, a rectifier is an AC to DC converter. The aim of rectification is to produce output. That is... Yeah. AC to DC converter. Kan samalah yang kita belajar ni AC to DC converter. That is purely DC. Purely DC. Means that you don't have any kind of negative side lah. So only pure DC. And how to obtain the voltage or current waveform that is specific has a specific DC component. There are two types of rectification process, control and uncontrolled. Uncontrolled, which is used only diode, and other point control, which is used thyristor, or oh, I'm not sure. Are we going to learn the fully controlled or not? I'll look. Semi control only. Use only semi control. So only two kind of device you can use either diode or thyristor. The control effect can be controlled using various form of control strategy. So macam saya kata tadi lah, you boleh pakai same simple square wave generator. Means that you assume that the signal will come from the microcontroller and microcontroller just generate simple square wave. So indicate alpha dekat mana, you punya beta dekat mana, sign to the circuit. In this work you are going to design evaluate performance of single phase control, how we rectifier, resistive and inductive load. And later we shall use, we shall learn in terms of combination of R, R and L. Sekarang kita pakai R, later we need to use R and L. 
And so you deliver your power into a controllable device here into R and L. Output power 50 hertz. Design rectify must be evaluated based on following criteria. Mode of operation, continuous and discontinuous. Ni maksudnya ialah later you shall have a output. Output dia ada continuous which is continuous DC like this. It will not return to zero. Versus discontinuous you shall have positive then zero. Then positive then zero. Positive then zero. This is discontinuous. It drop to zero. But non uh, or continuous is that it will not drop to the zero. So how are you going to make sure that the output is stable at certain values? V average here without dropping to zero. Here also we have V average. But at certain duration, the average output is zero. No, the incidence output is zero. See? Okay, that is the kinetic character of continuous and this continuous uh, perspective. Huh? So average DC output voltage, DC RMS voltage under varying delay angles of 0, 30, 60 and etc. So you need to evaluate and is that you put the scenario when you assign your alpha here at 0. So how the output behavior? It's like you assign at 60, you assign at 120 and your alpha here. So how the waveform inside? Is it going to reduce or increase? Okay, this is in terms of how you want to evaluate your design. Okay, based on your first assign, uh, first assign uh, design. Lah. Then consider improvement towards circuit. Is that this is initial circuit? So what else you have to do instead of when you evaluate, you have this bad output how to get a better output so consider or suggest improvement into your own initial circuit just now to achieve uninterruptible condition continuous load current with a suitable design approach so means that when you assign certain certain load values here you find out when you decrease the or increase the alpha it will drop badly so how you want to improve okay then result obtained from simulation should be compared against the theoretical collision. So means that before you assign the values here, uh, you get the simulation result, you should calculate first. If alpha is certain certain value, how much is your V out? Like that. How much your V out? How much your I out? Then when you, you uh, make a simulation, so you compare between, you can make a table about several, Calculation versus simulation. And you put a comment. So this is just a generic guideline. Lah. Okay. You can create your own uh, innovative or creative solution or presentation within your group. Lah. So circuit design will be uh, to be implemented using PC software. This ensure that the simulation time controls are correctly set during for four cycles presentation. Right. Untuk presentation just produce four cycles. Tapi untuk simulation you can use any kind of setting lah. The longer the better. Explain in detail the related theoretical equation involved. So when you write a uh, information, sorry, when you write your formula, please explain where possible. Lah. Provide discussion on the circuit. You write the, when you produce circuit, please below the circuit have uh, discussion. You produce a graph, below also have to have a comment or you have to have a title, label and discussion below the graph. Okay. Justify the reason of the design pertaining to the methods being used. So when you use the approach, what are your reasons? Specify and explain. 
application then that can be used with the design. So let's say you produce that design. So how much and how actually that you, uh, design can be utilized in the market or within the consumer and point of view. Macam ni kata you punya design ni boleh guna untuk charger. Low cost handphone charger ataupun renewable energy charger whatsoever. So you can suggest lah any kind of application for your design. Okay. Okay in term of layout in term of layout okay, in term of layout in term of layout another Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, in terms of layout, we have a cover page here. Instead of you in all your data. Okay, please present in terms of, in kind of this uh, IEEE paper submission paper in two column uh, style like this with all the wording here so you can use this one as your i think if you can open in word you can use as your template so double column like this citation in number okay at least citation you have to you can use a uh, data sheet as your uh, citation you can use textbook as your citation and whatsoever at least five reference and five reference okay what you want to put as your uh, materials inside your report is that just put the guideline or the outline of your report like this introduction and the first is abstract now because each paper needs abstract. Abstract is just a conclusion of what you you do, uh, what you expect to have, or when you already have. So what are your results? What are your methods? And so your a little bit of induction in your abstract, your method, your result, and your conclusion. Okay. So in your report line, you have to so this is the percentage of marks that we given. So you just stated the heading of the, your chapter using this keyword introduction, background of study, methodology, data simulation, discussion, conclusion, and reference. And so the rubric is given here. To get the most of your introduction, you have to cover all the criteria, information uh, related to the computer here and explain what is your computer is all about and how actually it behave and generate, generate and is it going to step up or step down the determine voltage to your load so background of the study literature review you have to do some literature review comparison between uh, uh, the devices uh, devices that are capable of being used inside the computers so it concludes with what kind of device you want to use for your design the methodology how you want to simulate or how you want to uh, execute your computer. And so that is your methodology. Simulation, how you simulate and what data you have and how you comment. What kind of comment that available within your simulation or your produce data. And then this is this is a discussion. Uh, simulation result. With comment, discussion is the conclusion of what you have in your simulation. 
This is overall conclusion. Okay. Here are the specific what should be contained inside the introduction. Should contain problem statement, objective, or the experiment. Should answer the following question of what is the experiment and what it's all about and why you performing the, the task. Jangan kata it's directed by the coordinator whatsoever. So you assume that you are the engineer that producing the product. So what is your purpose? and operation that product based on what? Is it by customer requirement or the market uh, availability or whatsoever? And so background of study. Why does the circuit, what does the circuit do? How does the circuit operate? What switching element can be used? So what option that we have in the market? So what are the equation uh, involved when you choose that kind of device or that kind of approach? Where can be used? So methodology to describe how you want to uh, execute the design, what kind of software being used, how the construction being made, what are the parameters being set, why you set like that. And so summation when you decide in the, in the methodology how you want to set or how you want to do. So the simulation and the data here, you put the table of data that you want to simulate, you put the simulation result in graph or in trend that you have, you have produced. The screenshot of the instantaneous result and the compost trend. It means that you, instead of you take the screenshot, maybe you, you uh, run the data in certain, uh, at least five or six data, you make a graph trend. And so how you can show the result is by using the screenshot or by the graph, the trend of the, the process or the output, output trend. Minimum load, maximum load, minimum setting, maximum setting, uh, medium setting. So that's how you want to present your report. report uh. Discussion. The following questions we answered. Uh, answered uh. How does your result compare to the theory? Comparing between theory and your solution. Okay. Conclusion. This conclude how the report should be summarized. Nah? So you summarize between your, uh, you just conclude how your result and how your results looks like. Your reference, at least five reference. Nah? Report format should follow the double column format just now. So we have here report template, OER template doc. And later you can download and just type on the template and delete whatever that is not necessary accordingly. Okay, what else? Marking criteria. So you group in terms of two or three students. Do not copy each of you. If you caught copy, so we, I will minus and we'll just average between you all. That is the least punishment. Huh? Is that Maybe if of you have obtained uh, one group 60%, one group 50%, so I will plus and minus, uh, plus and divide by the two group. If three group, so divide by three. Mm. Quality of clinical report, so please write uh, nicely. Online or online type, type typing uh, sentences. Don't use grammatic words, just uh, use grammar, uh, understandable words only. Past ten, and because this, this is in report. You submit in PDF format in two weeks' time. You have two weeks. Okay. Any question? So that's all for today's uh, briefing. By right, I should leave you all with your group and you perform your OEL uh, task. Uh. Hmm. Cuma hari ni mungkin terpaksa cover sikit syllabus yang lepas because we have, have not covered yet. So maybe by next week we should have cover at least our load with the semi-control device ni. Uh, I will supply the con uh, the recorded version lecture 
because if you want to cover uh, during synchronous ni memang tak sempat lah. And I really hope that you please uh, view the provided lecture notes, lecture slides or lecture videos at your own time because the materials I will not repeat in the class later lah. All the important details or the being shared, I will not recap again unless during our revision class before exam nanti mungkin saya kena recap balik lah. Okay, ada soalan setakat ni? Itu saja. Hello. Tak ada kawasan untuk saya. Okay. Okay, kalau saya akan dismiss, saya akan leave all you all with your group. So if you don't have any things, you can stick with your group and gather information of how you want to complete this OEL. And if not, it's up to you. You can dismiss or uh, we meet again, inshallah, next week. Uh, sorry for the inconvenient cost. So have a nice Ramadan, inshallah. See you again, inshallah. Okay, that's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Terima kasih, Dr.